awesome and amazing day, victorious people. Welcome to a podcast episode of VIP with Nikki B, where we see the victory in people, but most importantly, we want you to see the victory in yourself. I am your victorious host, Nikki B. And I want to share something with you all. I I think this is so important for us to know. Uh, When I read this information, I was definitely flabbergasted, shocked, um, at a loss for words. And I also thought, I need to share this information, not only because I feel as if though I need to do something, but we all need to know this so that we take action as well. Did you all know that according to an analysis by Nonprofits Prosperity Now and the Institute of Policy Studies, by year 2053, the black American households would have a median wealth of zero. Yeah, you all heard me. I said zero. By 2053. You all do realize what year we're in right now, 2022. So if these current trends continue, the Latino American households who are experiencing the same downward wealth slide will hit zero uh, in two decades. And for if you all don't realize, two decades is 20 years later. So uh, that was a, a hard fact But it's definitely, if you don't know where you are, you don't know where you need to go or what you need to do, what you need to uh, recalibrate or reconfigure or redo or just look at things differently so that you know where you need to go and what you need to do and how you need to do that. So I definitely wanted to share that. That was shocking, I know. That was definitely shocking. So let's get right into it, right? (laughs) Let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's shift gears here. So today I'm super excited because we are going to be talking with a firecracker, this young lady here. Uh, I'm going to share the story on how we actually met. So my girlfriend, you all have heard her here. Her name is Nikhil English. She is the owner and CEO of Callie's Candles. Y'all go ahead and get you some candles. They smell super good. Real nice. Real nice. Uh, So me and her decided to go, you know, out and have a good time. And we decided to go to the Cleveland Museum of Arts, right? And they have this thing called First Fridays. And it's super fun. You know, the vibe is super, just really different. You know, they have good food. The atmosphere is dope. The people look good. You know, you dress to impress because you just never know if you're going to meet that. Oh, okay, never mind. So <laughs> they have good drinks and everything. And uh, when I met all of the young ladies there, this young lady was amongst one of them. So one of f- a funny thing about it is the people, the individuals' names. So there was Nikki, Nikki, Ari, and Ari, and then there was Christy. There were some other young ladies <laughs> there as well, but we the one we were the ones that actually just stuck in there. So that was super fun, and that's actually how we met. So from that time, we connected and we've been good friends ever ever since since then. Mm -hmm. And from that moment, um, I had the opportunity to relationship with her and to peel back some layers. And I was always pleasantly surprised to find out everything that this young lady does. So let's introduce this firecracker this young lady <laughs> oh my goodness when i tell you all she works like a jamaican no offense jamaicans but right. you all work hard you know so yeah. uh, let me just share with you all so you know she's a victorious individual you know that's exactly what we highlight here the victory in people uh, miss Ariane is a ceo of three businesses right yes. the first one is Taylor made consulting services mm-hmm. the second one is Taylor made cuisine yes she she know how to throw down too right <laughs> and she has the third one is royalties express mm-hmm. and i absolutely love that name you all know i do so royalties express that's super catchy and really fun i really love that but she is also a project expert former college instructor, business program director at a collegiate level, meaning she's smart. She (laughs) understands how to simplify things so that, you know, us laymen know how to to understand what she's trying to relate to us. And she's a certified resume writer. 
Right? Yes, so that's she's correct. super awesome. I love her. So welcome, Miss Ari Poo, because that's what Thank I call her. It's my Ari Poo, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Nikki. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on your show. I'm really proud of you. Thank I'm just you. sitting here listening to you and beaming with pride because Aww. I see what started as a small mustard seed, how it's growing now. Like Aww. like really like a wildfire. And I'm I'm just filled with so much excitement for you because I can kind of see, you know, the mm -hmm. track that you're on and I can't wait to see all the things that God lays out before you. Oh because my I gosh. feel like this is your thing. This is your niche. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I just have a really good time and I have fun doing it. You know, uh people would tease me like, "Dang, girl, is your conversation all questions?" I like to ask questions because I genuinely like to know about people. Yeah. What drives them, who you they too. are. But you're naturally yeah. inquisitive, I okay. find. Yeah. That's good. It's so it's not a nosy like No, it's just yeah. you're you're you have a zest for life and for people. Okay. And when you're passionate about people, which I can relate to, it just naturally it you want to learn more and yeah. it comes out. So you keep being you, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Ari. This is why she's my Ari Poo. She's always got me feeling all I good love, and stuff. I love, I love that. uplifting <laughs> people. I really do. Yeah. And clearly, you know, you have these different uh, services that you pro provide. So you definitely have a thing and a, a knack for people. Like I do. You want to serve and help people. Uh, so... So that that would be my first question to you. You know, what is the motivation behind all of the things that you do and the services that you provide? What's that motivation? I would say my driving motivation um, stems from a couple of different areas, but mostly I I will just say for my business, for example, Taylor May Consulting Services. Mm -hmm. That's one of my longest running oldest businesses that I founded in 2014 when I was still an educator and I was working at the collegiate level and running programs for business, HR, and technology degrees. And I was teaching and I saw a lot of the gaps between students mostly at risk. A lot of us that are from lower uh, socioeconomic backgrounds mm. perhaps um, that may not have resources and access to services like professional resume writing. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you really know of it or heard of it, most of the time people are thumbing their way or, you know, pecking their way on the typewriter right. through the process. And what I saw with my students is that, and with not just the students, with people in general, a lot of people didn't even know where to begin for right. a resume. What we, words do you use? How that's do the you other thing. How do you format it? List it, it all on one page? How and you, even if I right. get a template... I still might not necessarily understand the wording that I need to use. Mm -hmm. And then as technology started to evolve and I also um, started to see the trends of where human resources and recruiting and hiring was going, there was a complete clear gap between these at-risk populations versus people that might have had access or parents with money or access to actually pay $200 mm -hmm. a pop for a resume. The average person doesn't have that to give mm -hmm. um, for, you know, a page or two document. Right. So I come in at offering my services below market level. And a lot of people say, well, why do you offer it, you know, for the cheap or lower than, you know, for the low. Uh, yeah, or, <laughs> or, or low because then something must yeah. be off. No, I'm offering it because my target market is not mm -hmm. the masses. It is the people that fall in between the cracks. Mm -hmm. So I help bridge that gap for them. Um, with my knowledge and having over 20 years of human resource management experience and working globally um, in HR, I completely understand from a different viewpoint what employers are looking for. Mm -hmm. I even programmed and have experience with programming and configuring HRIS applicant systems. And I understand that through that configuration, there's keywords, there's things, there's a computer siphoning through people, not mm -hmm. an actual not a person. person. So you could apply to 50,000 jobs, but if you don't have the right keywords in there, you're just getting pushed to the side. In the shredder. Exactly. You won't even make it to the recruiter's desk. Wow. So me understanding that and having that higher level perspective mm -hmm. and then understanding it also from the student viewpoint and also being an at-risk person yeah. myself, um, 
I just saw a need and I and I'm also a servant leader. So I I saw mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. need for bridging a gap between my people and putting them in a position to at least get a call back. Yeah. I knew that if I crafted the resume according to what I know was going to work and also highlight a lot of um these people in a light in a way that a lot of people can't describe themselves or feel funny unless you're narcissistic I'll, you know but most the average person doesn't feel comfortable talking about themselves right. or bragging on yeah. themselves but it's like i get to know you know my audience through what they've done and then through questions and siphoning out more information mm-hmm. And I also try to gear the resume and documents towards where they're going, not where they've been. Right. And that's a lot of time gets lost in the cracks, too. Yeah. If you've been a cashier all through college, okay, that's not your career choice, but you did that to earn money. But you don't want them to just see you as a cashier now that you've graduated and you're trying to break into your career field. Mm -hmm. So that's um, what I'm very passionate about is bridging the gap. Are you passionate about your purpose? Are you walking in your purpose? Well, we want to highlight and showcase the victory in you on the most impactful podcast in the land, VIP with Nikki B, where we see the victory in people, but most importantly, we want you to see the victory in yourself. Reach out to me on Facebook at Nicole Nikki B Hutchins, also on IG at Hey underscore Nikki B underscore and at YouTube Nikki B. So speaking of servitude attitude, right? The the ultimate example, the prime example, and uh, you know I love studying scripture and things like that. One of my favorite things. So speaking of that, uh, Matthew twenty twenty eight, right? And that is, and I'm gonna paraphrase it a little bit. Is the Son of Man gave us, you know, he gave us that example, but he said he didn't come here to to be served but to serve others yeah. and ultimately gave his life life uh, as a ransom for many, not everyone, but for many, yeah. right? Yeah. So that servitude attitude goes a long way. Why? Because it's infectious. And we, as a people, we mimic what other people do. So if we're mimicking uh, people who are serving, guess what we're going to do? We're Other people, serve. we're going to serve too. Yeah. Right? That's so, so of true. course, there's those bad apples who are very selfish and things like that. And there does come a time where you need to be selfish and you need to, you know, do for you first, put on your life jacket yep, first before you right. save other people. Right. But for the most part, yes. You so know that's what awesome. I say? That the attitude of gratitude is the reason why I'm here. The humility, the act of serving. Mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, those years that I was teaching, planted the seeds that I'm reaping the harvest yes. for now. It wasn't because of me or that I'm so smart. It's because at that time I was used like really as a vessel to help my people, liberate my people in a way, set their mind free, yeah. teach them about what's really going on. And it's okay to be smart. It's cool to be smart. And showing them that you can have a balance. You don't have to be all one way because we're all multifaceted people. Yes. Amen. But if you serve people, you can't go wrong. Because I'm a firm believer of this. A lot of times people is, uh, look at other people with envy, not understanding why these people get in blessings. Mm. A lot of it, of course, what God got for you is for you. Bottom line, nobody can take that. But the abundance... You reap what you sow. So if you don't sow anything, you're not going to have a harvest. <laughs> and people don't understand that when they're being really selfish with anything. That's so good. But won't that same stuff that they're not giving? Yeah. It's mind-boggling. It is. But they don't make the connection that if I want to harvest, I got to plant seeds. I got to do some stuff. I got to serve. I got to get out there mm-hmm. and fertilize it. I got to water it. Yeah. Even days when I don't feel like it. Mm, talk about but it. But <laughs> those blessings came to me back when I tell you the times I needed it the most. And I know it wasn't because of nothing I did. Mm-hmm. But you'll be able to recall, oh, but when you make a difference in other people's life and you out here serving people, trust me, God going to take care of you. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I, I just think that's so good. She said so much right there. <laughs> I talk a <laughs> but, lot. <laughs> but that's okay because you're 
you're uh, a teacher, yeah. right? So I love teachers, to motivate and uplift yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Really, if I had any choice, like what I really ultimately want to do once all of this is, you know, who knows what God got for it to go. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, for me, I envision myself retiring, teaching, and speaking. Mm-hmm. And going out amongst the masses and motivating people. Yeah. All over the world, though. I'm a global chick. So yeah. That's, you are. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what one of your, your new role now yeah. with your uh, nine to five, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that position is global. Yeah. I'm uh, a global so, project manager. Yeah. And um, I work on HR projects. And I deal with people all the time from all over the world, and they each have something to teach me. Mm-hmm. And and I just think I look at people now so differently. And I just follow with my intuition and what I feel now, because now I finally trust how God moves. Yeah. Or, or grew. now I grow in understanding how he moves in my life. Oh I'll put it that gosh, way. Oh, my gosh. That's huge. Mm-hmm. That's huge. Took a long time. So with being a project manager and it being global, that means you're on different time frames and all things the time, like that. All the time. All the time. This week, I've, and then, like, I know that you'll have some video. I'm sorry. I'm looking cray cray because <laughs> this week has been a 4:30 a.m., 6 a.m. meeting week, and on top of that, I woke up with a bad eye infection. <laughs> so, we I'm left eye today. But listen though, <laughs> but listen though, team no excuses. <laughs> no, okay. No, I was coming because um, when no I commit excuses. myself, that's yeah. what I'm going to do. Um, and I know that it's a bl- I didn't want to miss this dynamic and a chance to see my friend blossom. Either. Oh, I love that. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. You know, something we were talking about today and um, a, a leadership call or yeah, our leadership call is something that really just resonated with me. Are you committed to the commitment? Ooh. Yeah. Are you committed to the commit- commitment or are you interested in the commitment? Right, Right? because a lot of people, that goes back to what I said, is Mm -hmm. that everyone wants a hearty harvest. No one want to get dirty. No Mm -hmm. one want to get out there, dig up that dirt, put that seed down there, and pour more dirt on it, and then cultivate and wait, Mm -hmm. you know, and move in in, in that. No, I just want what you got, and I don't care (laughs) what you did. Break yourself. Right. Give it to me. Yeah. Like, that's what um, the sense of entitlement you see a lot in, Mm -hmm. in our world. You know, it's speaking of, you know, toiling and watering and fertilizing and putting in the work. How do you plan your day? Right? How do you get ready? Do you do like what's your regimen? What's your religion? How do you get prepared? Well, you know what, how I prepare for the day? Well, I start preparing for the next day, the day before, of course, like a lot of people. Right. At the end of my See, this is the thing. I don't really have an end of a work day or a regular schedule. <laughs> it's the time I open up my eyes to the time God sit me down. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of how it goes for me. I look at it like I'll have time to sleep and relax. But right now is my season of plowing and mm-hmm. towing. It's a season for everything. And right now, is he tells me this is my season of work and delivery, doing what he called me to do while I have the energy and capacity. Yeah. I'll, I'll rest later. But how I start my day is I always started with gratitude and with God because without him, I wouldn't even be where I'm at. I also, I'm very self-critical, probably more critical over myself than anybody mm-hmm. else could ever yeah. be. Right. And so I struggle with the balance between understanding and knowing what I know versus how I feel. Get up, show up is half of the more than half of the battle. Mm-hmm. I just show up, and I feel like I could just, as long as I feel like I got the strength and God with me, I can get through whatever come my way for the day. Yeah, fifty percent of winning is showing up. It really right? is. Yeah. It really is, and being present in the moment. Because sometimes, yes. I, I with us being strategic people, you know, in general, like I'm very strategic. And Thinking because I have it. these different <laughs> businesses, yep. my mind is always running. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, you something here may jolt me for another, you know, for something in one of my businesses. Right. And then I'm thinking, it's like, I'm always doing that. But I have made it a point now, I've had to make it a point to separate things and compartmentalize a little bit better. Because it's good to, you know, 
it's kind of I'm like a Jane of all trades, but I can say I'm a master of some. Yeah, you know, I love that. I people really can that say that. People, people say they yeah, forget that part. I, I yeah. really am. I um, give my all into something. Mm-hmm. But my problem, which a lot of people problem is, you can have so many great ideas, but Rome wasn't built in a day. No. You cannot build right. that empire in one day. Right. So I throw a brick over here, a brick over there, and you know, into every pile each day. Yeah. And eventually they all going to tower up and add up into something. And that's yeah. why I got my hand in so many things. Because <laughs> people say you got too many irons in the fire. Yeah. My mother is the first one to say it. I'll be as she says it because I don't have enough time to do what she want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that they'll is. say. You don't have enough time for me. You're always working. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my family, as you saw earlier, mm-hmm. are always trying to hunt me down. Like, where yeah. are you to get a few minutes? But it's just my building season. Mm -hmm. That's all. Um, I just learn to try to balance it the best way I can. But I don't have an answer for that, y'all. I'm still learning. (laughs) Learning how to prioritize. That's something that's super important. It prioritizing is being present yes that's i think that's the number one thing and that'll alleviate a lot of stress and anxiety uh we had a bible study yesterday uh with some of uh well we do women's worship bible study on wednesdays so i like doing that and uh that was something someone was sharing that you know they struggle with anxiety you know and i was sharing because i've learned uh to be present because I, I realize that when I'm thinking about sometimes our minds and we don't even realize it, we're probably stuck in the past, yes. right? Uh, being yes. upset about something Replaying that happened or, it yeah, over and over, right? And then also, like you were talking about, we're planning, strategic, we're thinking about the future, but we so missed the present that means moment. that's making us scattered and stressed out and stretched out. It's nothing wrong with stretching your vision and opening your horizons or broadening your horizons. But at the same time, you know, you have to be present in the moment. And when you're present in the moment, you're optimizing that relationship, right? You're you're optimizing who you are. You're learning more and you're, you know, able to learn more about people. So, yeah, that's so super important to be uh, present that that's a priority yes, right yes. and that'll alleviate all of that stress and it, it will help you put things in a perspective mm-hmm. because sometimes you're too focused on being in either past or future right that you're missing that right moment now. right now mm-hmm. right now and you're supposed to feel that moment and go through that moment to get through but yeah we, yeah so yeah I'm we, we could keep going yeah, down on that on, but, let's but i want to talk about yeah Taylor Cuisine. Okay, perfect. So, like, I was saying, Taylor May Consulting Services is the resume writing. Mm-hmm. I also do career coaching and some small business consulting on a case by case basis with that. Um, Taylor May Cuisines is my passion, cooking. That's my true passion. I love cooking for other people. Yes, she does. I love seeing people enjoy my food. So good. I love putting on a presentation. She sure does. And it's not, it's just for my friends, for family, whoever. I love feeding people. And I like to eat, too. That's why I'm voluptuous. But (laughs) I like feeding people. And my what makes Taylor Made Cuisines different than other businesses that are, you know, selling food Mm -hmm. is that I, again, I'm a niche girl. And I know that the the gold is in the specializations. It's in Mm. the niches. So where a lot of people do big event planning, big, massive catering, you've got to have all these minimums. I'm a down the way, around the way girl, basically. Like, <laughs> you having a baby shower? You want some good food? I'll cook it for you. You know, half pan or buy the pan. I keep things practical, simple, and economical. I, I don't have minimums. Mm-hmm. I do things by the half pan or the whole pan. How many you order is up to you now. But <laughs> I try to do it home style, family style. I'm into private, small event planning and private chef services. And when I tell you all, she likes to try to some different recipes, yeah. different foods. Um, I yeah, we she's had a couple of events yeah. um, that I'm like, girl, she was like, please take the <laughs> take food the home, <laughs> take it home, and I'm like, as much yes. as I could. <laughs> yes, I love feeding people. So yeah, people. I, I absolutely love that, and I can definitely attest that um, she is a really good cook. A lot Thank of you. love 
is put into it. A lot of time yeah. is put into it. And she's been doing it for a long time. Yeah, so. I've been cooking for a long time. Yeah. And um, it's hereditary for me, actually, because it's really through both sides of my family. Okay. With the cooking. They're from the South. So you got it from both sides. So I got That's it from good. both sides. So yeah. I can't help it. Georgia Peach and South Carolina. <laughs> you know, so I, I got that in me. Yeah. And I just love sharing it with other people. Mm -hmm. I'm not even, I'm the type of person I could cook and not be hungry right then. I just want to watch everybody else enjoy yeah. it. I love that. Mm -hmm. You know, Ariane, she's just... I told you all, she's a firecracker. <laughs> and she's one of those firecrackers that has all the colors. She's not just the one color. She's the one that has all the different colors. And it's going to be different designs, too, yeah. when it when it go off. Yeah. So that's what I absolutely love about her. She's Thank so uh, multifaceted, as she was talking about. Uh, there's a lot of layers to her. She's a sweetheart. She's professional. She's assertive. She's funny. <laughs> she's all of those things. And I absolutely love that. You know, and... Do you do any outreach programs or how you know, do you I do actually like that? was into that a lot more when I was teaching. And something that made me bring about Taylor May Consulting Services, my ultimate vision for it is to become definitely more a black owned, black filled full of black women, mm -hmm. um, motivationally consulting. And I would like to have some different youth motivational groups and things going on okay um to motivate them because it starts when they're young yeah i taught at the college level but i saw so many gaps you know among those right. adults exactly and i figure if we start younger you know then we can break a lot more cycles yeah so i would like to do outreach and would be open to doing any partnering for community outreach and speaking to the youth yeah i think that's a great idea and i think I don't think I can, I can see us doing some things together yeah. in the community and things that like that be because great. I think it's so important and it is valuable um, to because it starts in the mind, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't see yourself as such, whatever that right a higher victorious self is, right. you can't be there. Not only that, if you don't actually physically see it. How can you be it? Or how can you believe in something that you've Amen. never been able to touch yeah. or see? Mm -hmm. That's why I think just period, even as entrepreneurs all over now, and it's becoming an even more revolutionary movement, mm -hmm. we've got to do more than just sell our items. We've got to really try to find a way to work together yeah. on common goals. Right. We don't have to do the same thing. We don't have to be BFFs. But... If you're doing something to service our people overall, any people, but definitely our people, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, but if you're doing something for that and everybody is focused on that goal, then you we can move mountains. And we can move mountains and we could definitely take off, you know, the statistics and that I just showed. each other in those positions. Zero by 2053. Yeah, that's what, scary. That and I think that, honestly, it's heading that way now before 2023 if they don't get rid of these student loans mm -hmm. and a couple of other things going yeah. on, like this upside-down inflation. Yeah. But the whole point of that is to say they done counted us out so many times before, though, mm -hmm. right? And right now what <laughs> they're scared of is happening minorities are becoming the majority yeah. and that is the big the big elephant in the room yeah and that's yeah. why all of these tactics <laughs> are being employed so yeah. i think that that's going to turn around actually but we'll let them run on with that yeah because that's another podcast episode sure like, is, right? we could definitely travel down that okay. and have a conversation about that um so with all of this you know you serve you are you know, you want to help people and things like mm -hmm. that. So how can I reach out to you or how can the victorious people reach out to you if they need some help with their resume? Because let me just put this in here. The homegirl did help me with my resume and I That's actually right. went for a position that I would not have normally went for. And I was actually one of the candidates, one of the finalists yes. after all of every once everyone was uh interview anything like that i made it to the second round and the third round but i ultimately think of course i was the person presenting it but the way that she worded my resume i was like Who is, is this, this me, me? Oh, but it okay. was you but it was me she just used uh key words and things like that so i'm saying that her her services work. She's not, you know, I've got a, or anything yeah. like I've that. I've got testimonials. Yeah. I've got a real life website. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to reach out to me, 
please visit me at www.taylormadeconsultingservices, all one word, dot com. So taylormadeconsultingservices.com is my actual website. There you can peruse um, the different services that I offer, book a resume service or a career um, or coaching session. You also can take a look at our inspirational products because we also offer merchandise to uplift and empower both men and women. Um, you can also catch us on Facebook or IG at Taylor underscore made underscore consult. And then we're on Facebook too as Taylor made Taylor made um, consulting services and Taylor made cuisines. Same thing on IG as well. Well, you all, she laid it out for you. She she's letting you know exactly how to reach her, how to improve on yourself right how to get some tasty food and get some <laughs> victorious and some um royalties yes. right so royalties and royalties well, express is was like my um it's it's my pet baby and i've actually kind of put her back a little bit okay. because i wanted to focus more on getting tailor made cuisines off the ground and i wanted to focus more on streamlining Taylor May Consulting Services. But Royalties Express is coming back. And this time, I'm actually making it more, instead of just like a t-shirt novelty store, mm -hmm. it's going to be a full-fledged men and women boutique. Okay. And I'll offer homewares and um, canvas art and home decor and different novelty items, but all in the spirit of uplifting my people. Yeah, and I absolutely love that. Inspiration is what it's all about. Well, victorious people, you all heard it here. Reach out to Miss Ariane for all of your consultant needs. And I know y'all want to feel like, you know, you want to get some of that good home cooking food too. Yes. So she'll definitely help you out with that. My girl, Ari Poo, thank you so much for thank joining us today. Thank you for having today. me and I'm so proud of you, Thank girl. you so much. She is truly victorious. Uh, this has been another awesome and amazing episode of VIP with, with Nikki, Nikki B. B. <laughs> <laughs> Where we see the victory in people. But most importantly, we want you to see the victory in yourself. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't want to miss our next victorious conversation. Are you passionate about your purpose? Are you walking in your purpose? Well, we want to highlight and showcase the victory in you on the most impactful podcast in the land, VIP with Nikki B, where we see the victory in people, but most importantly, we want you to see the victory in yourself. Reach out to me on Facebook at Nicole Nikki B Hutchins, also on IG at K underscore Nikki B underscore and at YouTube Nikki B.